My name is Michael Darter, and I'm a physician at uh, Reproductive Medicine Associates of New Jersey. Well, I'm a Jersey boy, raised in New Jersey, raised in Patterson, New Jersey, and um, as many of us, I went to Rutgers University as an undergrad and um, got a degree in biology, and uh, from that I went on to the environmental field. But after a while, I just, uh, I had this urge to, the yearning to get into medicine. I'm not sure quite why, because nobody in my family was in medicine. But um, I really had a yearning to, to learn about how the body functioned and malfunctioned and, and how, it w how it was treated. And uh, um, so uh, I eventually decided to go to medical school. And um, my parents moved from New Jersey to Illinois, and I followed them to Illinois. I went to the uh, Loyola Stritch School of Medicine, which is just outside Chicago, and uh, got my degree there. And then from there, went back to New Jersey. Of course, I could not escape New Jersey for some reason. It keeps bringing me back, and here I am. Um, so in New Jersey, I went back to Rutgers and did my, uh, my OBGYN residency at Rutgers. Went into the uh, Columbia Presbyterian uh, Fellowship Program in New York for reproductive endocrinology and infertility. And then um, stayed on as director of the IVF program as a professor at, at Columbia uh, for, a, for one year. And then at the end of the year, um, I decided I really wanted to get out of academic medicine um, and, uh, and move into private practice. If I wasn't a fertility specialist, I would either uh, be one of two things, I think. I would be uh, a, a singer in a rock and roll band or play shortstop for the New York Yankees. For the past 12 years, um, I've uh, been a private pilot and um, have uh, been able to fly now a, a, a number of different types of airplanes. And, uh, and really enjoy that, that sport and that, um, that way of getting around uh, the country as I've been able to fly to all parts of the country and, and even the, the Caribbean. Uh, there is a, an organization called the Veterans Airlift Command which uh, allows volunteer pilots like myself to, to fly uh, disabled uh, uh, war veterans uh, who have a lot of difficulty getting on a commercial flight uh, uh, and, and, and doing that in any kind of comfortable way. And so um, I'm certainly incredibly privileged to be able to, to do that and uh, discover the courage and the inspiration that these men have. And uh, uh, they've uh, really provided me with uh, a different outlook on life and um, uh, given me a chance to, to, to give back to our military. I think the most um, common question I get is, what's the chance of my getting pregnant? And um, happily, I'm able to tell most everybody that the, your chances are, are very good. One of the interesting myths that I, I've, I've heard patients uh, bring to our, our consultation is that, um, that they have to wait for that magic moment of ovulation to have intercourse. And if they miss that magic moment, that there's no way they can get pregnant. And, um, and not only is it a myth, but it's actually counterproductive. So what can happen when, when, when the male partner uh, stops having intercourse or producing sperm on a routine basis is, is the, uh, the semen becomes filled with sperm that are either dead or malformed. And it becomes a, a, a semen specimen that's not as good as it could be. If, uh, if, if that were not the case. So waiting for that ma magic moment is, is actually counterproductive and, it's, and uh, that's, that's a myth that I'd like to dispel at, during our consultations. It's actually best to have intercourse frequently up to uh, the point of ovulation. I just recently got married just a few years ago and it was the first time that I got married. And uh, so consequently, I, I don't have children of my own. Um, and that has been uh, a disappointment in my life, and I think, it, I think it's something that uh, does help me relate to my patients who, um, sitting across the table, I know they come to, to their, our consultation thinking, how, how does this happen to me? There really are an amazing number of patients that have um, inspired me in many ways. Um, they've inspired me in, in that despite setbacks, they keep coming back, and, and they do it with a smile, and they do it with courage. And um, they just say, we're just going to keep going until this works. Um, 
and their fortitude is amazing and it, it makes me feel like I've got to work harder and to, to, to help them.